Howdy, Possum Patty here. Come along with me as I journal about watching the International Space Station fly over my house. How do you land this thing anyway? So I have some ideas in my head, but I need to work them out. Oh, I did forget to mention when I was doing my little Flying Butterflies Daniel's Garden page that you can kink the acetate a little bit so that the butterflies are flying at different levels. And I'm also thinking I didn't need to use um, such thick strips of acetate. Probably half the size might have worked fine. But this is my first experiment. It's fun to try out all these techniques in your composition book because it's just a composition book. So I'm doing space. So either I'm going to do black or purple or dark blue for the background. I'm not sure which. And I have some material. I brought up purples and blues and blacks from the basement and some muslim because I was watching Zena, and she made some fun little cards by stamping on material and then kind of fraying around the edge and then adding some more layers and then making little cards. But I'm thinking about sort of a flip, kind of like a waterfall on the page and telling my story that way. I do have some fun images I've got an alien, looks like my spaceship, and I've got the USS Enterprise. So that could be two of the cards. And then I have some ideas for a few other cards. So I want to have, let's see, one, two, three, four, maybe four flips on the page. Four flips on the page. So I need to... have a background for four of these. Okay, now this is felt. And I need a background for four flips. Oh, I do have this black material. And purple felt. So maybe I can make four black material cards. And then I can use these other colors I have one with stars to sort of do the layers. And I have blue, dark blue, light blue. And I have some black netting. So I can do some fun layers. I can do some stamping. So if I'm doing black, should I do black on black? Purple on black. Maybe I will do black on the page and purple on the cards because then I have black, so the layer purple, black, purple, maybe some stars. Okay, it's always good to get started because once I get started, then I get more ideas. So. The first thing I'm going to do is just cut this black paper to size. But I'm not going to glue it down because I want to sew on the fabric flips. Okay, I'm going to have four flips. And the second one's going to be larger because of what I want to put on there. But I'm going to make them look all the same like that. Hopefully, you can do this. Something like that. I want to leave some black space to put some stars around the edge. And let's see. I'm going to put some material for the flippy part. Well, I'm just going to start making each card individually and figure out then 
I'm going to sew them onto the page and how they looked arranged. So I'm going to start with the first one and put, I think I'll put the alien on first. Maybe two aliens or three aliens. So what I need is a piece of muslin, which is where, oh, right here. I'm working on a couple different things here on my desk all at one time and I thought I'd try stamping on the material because I don't remember doing this. So I practiced a couple times on the paper and then I got out these neon sharpie permanent markers that I bought a few years ago for some reason and I think I'm going to color in my little alien green And give him a yellow and blue spacecraft. There. That came out pretty good. Put that away for a few minutes. And this is my first flip. And I've got a beautiful sparkly starlit sky background. I put my alien up there in the sky. I do have a little piece of netting I can put behind him. Like that. Now I'm thinking about using this purple felt just to make the flip and maybe the top one I might put some stars on it but that may be too much or not I don't know Well, I always start with one plan and then change my mind as I go along, but that's okay. I changed the material on what I was going to call my first flap of my waterfall. And I wound up stitching on this netting with the gold stars. I've got my felt here and that's how I'm going to make my flap with a piece of felt. And I put this blue netting or tool, I guess it is, with this flocked on it. Kind of remind me of galaxy spirals. And then I took some gold thread, which is on my desk here somewhere. I think I got this at the thrift shop. And I stitched around right through the other side. And then I started working on the next flap and then I decided this would be the first flap. And so it's going to tell a little story about how I ran outside in my bathrobe to watch the International Space Station fly over. And this is what I saw. And this is a part of a cartoon from Maxine. But I cut out a little face. That's my face from an old photo. And what I'm going to do right now is take some acrylic paints and put some braids on there so it looks more like me and then I use that Starry Night sparkly material as the background so this is going to be the first page and this is the story of what I saw fly over the house and then so the second page will be this alien spaceship and then I'm going to do two more pages One's going to be the Starship Enterprise because I'm a big Star Trek fan. And the last one's going to be actually what I saw. 
So this flap is done for now. I'm going to put that aside and I'm working on this one. So I have to think about how I want to attach this material to the card and then attach that to there like that. But before I do any of that, I'm going to paint some braids. So this is a plastic lid off of something. And I'm going to put a little gray acrylic. There we go. And a little white. Ooh, ooh, ooh. put way too much paint out because this is a cartoon with black lines I'll probably just paint a little gray and white on here and then go over it with some black lines when it's dry My hair's not quite that white. Okay, look at all the paint I took out. I don't want to waste this paint, so I'm just going to put it on the background of a page in my art journal. Okay, I'm not going to fuss with that too much. It's just a cartoon. But there's the braids. And now I am going to probably just glue this down to this card. I just stitched across the bottom and the top mainly to hold the felt to the paper and this material also to the cardstock. So this will be the first flip and then the alien. So now I'm going to do the Star Trek one. So I need my muslin to stamp. Oh, here's a piece right here. Okay, now, I really never know what I'm going to do till I'm doing it, right? Do I want to make this the same as that one or a little different? And I'll probably make it a little different. So, let's see, this one has stars. This is going to be my design. I wanted it the same but different, so I put a different netting in the background. This is just black with little fuzzy dots on it. And instead of this uh, other kind of netting, I just put a piece of black cotton. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slow stitch with my gold thread. While this was a circle, I'm going to make this one obviously a rectangle. I was such a big fan of Star Trek in high school 
And I think at one time it was on like Friday night at 9 o'clock. And I used to tell my boyfriend that my mother said I had to be home at 9. I didn't tell him I was going home at 9 because I wanted to watch Star Trek. I just said, oh, Mom said I had to be home by 9. So he dropped me back off at home at 9 o'clock. And I would go and watch my Star Trek show. Now that's dedication. Cut your date with your boyfriend short to watch a TV program. Oh yeah, I used to go to all the conventions and see the actors. I met George Takai, who plays Sulu. I met him walking down the street in New Haven, Connecticut. Had a nice conversation with him about the architecture at Yale University. And I went to a lecture on man and space by Gene Roddenberry, who is the creator of Star Trek. So I went to meet um, Patrick Stewart, plays Jean-Luc Picard, and LeVar Burton. They're in the next generation, I think. Wasn't such a big fan of The Next Generation as I was the very first Star Trek. That was my favorite. And I guess will always be my favorite. Well, this flip is done. So I've got three done. But to tell the story, I've got to make one more. So let's see, where's my card? Here's my card, and this is what I actually saw. And somewhere I have a piece of felt. What a mess. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to put my felt down on this card and design my last flip. For the last flip, I'm going to go with the stars again, and I'm going to use this material, the muslin, as a background. And I'm going to paint a little glow-in-the-dark space station with my glow-in-the-dark Mod Podge. And that takes a couple of coats. So I'm going to start putting coats of Mod Podge on the black paper. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and sew, let's see, sew this down to the card. And then I'll probably slow stitch this on again like I did the other one. Although I didn't leave much room there, did I? I am toying with the idea of changing the color of the background. My original idea was black. And then I thought maybe I would go with blue, but I don't quite have this color blue. I do have a bright blue. And this is kind of like a lighter aqua color. And these cards are dark purple. So maybe I could do matching purple. where I can do a contrasting lighter purple. And because these cards are so dark, I'm almost thinking about going with light purple. And then I want to put some stars. I have a star stamper. So this is a very old stamping around by stamping up star stamper. So I'm thinking about going with the light purple and then putting a pattern of stars on it. So I think that's what I'm going to do.
Okay, I'm going into the closet with my journal and it's gonna get dark. This might not glow too much because it needs to be charged up in this in the light. But For my final touch, I added this sparkly purple ribbon across the top of my waterfall. And when you weren't looking, I added some pictures of me when I was working as an astronaut for NASA. And this is me in front of the mountains of creation. And this is me in front of the Aquila bubbles. And at the Crab Nebula. And at the Messe 100 Galaxy. I'm filming this video on April 1st, so I am not responsible for anything that I put into this video. And if you'd like to stay tuned, there's a blooper reel at the very end. So I just want to wish you all happy junk journaling, happy April Fool's Day, and thanks for coming along. Bye-bye now. Hehehehe <laughs>